Hello everybody, my name is Mo, uh, my name is Mo, and um, also known as, known as Mo's Muffins, and this is my tutorial entry for TGN Arts tutorial competition, and that I'm going to be, this is focused on the beginners of Photoshop that don't know how to use color corrections, blending modes, etc. Those are very useful tools, good for renders, um, highlights, and airbrush, airbrushing, um, there's going to be a little bit, I wouldn't say airbrushing, but highlighting of the hair, and, um, because basically, in this photo I was, that was provided by TGNR that was required, basically when you went, uh, when you first look at it, the focal point is the face, right? You're, um, you know, that's, that's what you're going to look at first. So we kind of want that to pop out, and color correction, and blending modes, and using certain brushes, and blending them in, and highlighting certain parts of the image are very useful, and can be used not only in, in real life photos, but in 3D renders, which can uh, add more depth, color, and um, etc., and other all types of text, uh, textography, whatever you have, this is a very useful tool. So I'm gonna get started because uh, in the limit, uh, I have a limited time. Um, first we have a uh, layer one or layer zero, as uh, it says. And I want, I kind of want to, um, let's see, kind of want to add some color correction. So now, best way to do that is uh, I like to go right here on the bottom of the layers, and I'm gonna select gradient map now gradient map kind of look look looks bad right now right because it's an in real life phone and I kind of messes it up but now as we have as you know we have do we do have uh blending modes so we click on this one or um because that's because one of the presets you have all these but you know I kind of I like this one you know it's um it's a light and I like the green and it looks pretty clean uh to me now this looks just plain color and you know you don't it doesn't look real because you still want to uh it's a color correction you're not changing the whole color of the photo um you're just correcting the colors a little bit so i'm going to go into uh, i'm going to double click on it i'm going to go into general blending modes i'm going to go down to screen um as you can see that's a little bit bright but I'll, let's just keep it at a hundred percent for now because we're going to add a, a different layers of color correction Next layer I'd like to I I'd always love to add would be uh brightness and contrast. All right, let's add let's, let's add that. Um, let's have the brightness. Let let's lower it down. Um, negative eighteen right there, and let's also bring uh tone down the contrast to a negative thirty three. Um, or something like that, a negative thirty four. Now so far it looks bland. It's uh not not you know it doesn't look now um finished it's incomplete so i'm going to click on now it does matter the order of the layers of color correction you do use so i'm going to have gradient map on the bottom and brightness uh in con slash contrast layer um on the top but in between these i'm going to add i'm going to click on gradient map um and i'm going to go over to the bottom and choose vibrance now this puts it in between these layers and which i totally want to do because i don't want to have vibrance on top of brightness and contrast or you know what um let's uh, we, we can look at that so let's uh let's bring this up to like a turn it up a notch to a 10 and uh have the saturation up to like a 19 or 20 all right so it's at 19 looks good so far we could uh we could rearrange this but not much of a difference now the most one of my favorite I want to say you know it could want to be uh, it could be the most important but it's one of the best is the color correction uh, I wouldn't say color correction tool but on the layer of curves uh, it, it's a color correction technique I guess or um, tool and uh, I'm going to use it now you could go all crazy with this tool you can make it super bright um, but it'll mess it up or super super dark you know right here but we don't want that um let's but we kind of want to like have some realism so i'm going to bring it down right there at a 32 input and a uh input of uh, uh an output of 32 and an input of 125 my my bad and um let's click over here and kind of bring it up and uh just a little bit of highlight now that looks kind of grainy to me so i'm going to kind of bring it up like that uh, so it evens it out a little bit. I'm gonna bring this up higher. Um, now, as you can see, the output of this is 47 and 90, and for this, it's a 222 output and an input of 217. Currently, it looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's bring it up a little more, a little bit down. 
Um, let's bring this a little bit. Oh, uh, no. Let's, uh, I kind of like to have this on the bottom because this is the darker midtone. This kind of highlights it a little bit. Alright, now, I'm gonna, I like this. Alright, let's leave this at at what it is so with an output of 45 and an input of 92 and um an output uh, on the second point an output of 221 and an input of 228 now those are our curves currently i really like this but now there's now we have to bring in the highlighting um i'm currently i'm happy with this uh with this color correction but i want to highlight some of the most um, some of the important parts of this photo which is Basically the hair in the face, basically the whole head. So I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna click on layer zero, which is the image, and I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna go over to my side panel and click on brush. I'm gonna leave it to this measurement uh, at a 108 with a with a hardness of 13 percent. And the color. Um, please pause the video. And you can see the color is C9E591. Um. To be exact, uh, is the exact color if you um want to you know totally, uh. But you could you could uh you know um use the eyedropper tool and choose whatever you want. I'm I'm gonna just stick with this color. Uh, it's a good color. It's uh, already had it on it. Uh, now I'm gonna go just roughly. I'm just gonna go over it. Now you don't want to be that rough. Um, you kind of want to have. Alright, you kind of you don't want to hide the face. Definitely don't want to hide the face. Um. So this, uh, let's let's get some more hair right here. Now, now let's see. All right, now you double click on this right after you are done going over the the hair. You uh, lower the um, I believe you can lower the you uh, lower the opacity down to a thirty percent, and use the blending mode screen. This totally highlights it and it gives it a good glowing effect, and I really like this. Um. You can go. You could even duplicate the layer, and um, let's. Uh, this looks kind of messy. See, let's see what I see. What, see what's here. So um, I'm gonna delete some of this or erase um some of this, and um, you know, it gives it a nice glow. Now, when you look at it now, um, you can see the hair glowing. Uh, I kind of like. Or oh, now the shoes or the gloves. These are parts that are white. Um, you could highlight these parts too. You don't only have to do the hair. So. You could kind of. This is the eraser. My, I'm sorry. Go over to the brush. I was using the eraser. Let's go over to the brush and then um go over these. Now we already have the. This is layer one with the hair. So let's hide it and um. So this is the one with the hair uh. Because I duplicated the layers, so now the hair is even brighter. But um, I'm gonna be using one only one of the layers for the highlights for the other parts because I don't want to highlight too much, um. And I just went over the hand. Um, again, this is layer uh, layer one copy. Uh, I'm gonna go over some to the feet. You know, kind of give that a little bit of glow. I'm not gonna go to the to the whole thing. Kind of like to the top of the of this foot. You know, and um, kind of just give it, just give it a good glow. Um, and it kind of gives it a little bit of highlighting and. Um, you know, it looks now. Um, color correction looks really good. Now you can do a lot of stuff. You can play around with these modes a lot more than I have. For the sake of this tutorial, it's uh, I don't want to make it too long. I have a limit of ten minutes, and that's pretty much it. You know, uh, so I, I I I like the uh, overall. You know, color correction. You know, you can change it to any color we want. If you could go back to gradient map, just choose like this color. Uh, now it's um, uh you know orange or pink or whatever but you know if you don't want to do that one one thing you could do is uh make another this is a very important and very um easy to use uh color correction uh thing it's hue saturation now if you don't want to like change the grad gradient map you could just like change this you make it purple but i do i do have one concern is like the it changes the whole image um see how like the lips are green so we would like to uh, let's just hide that go into gradient map and let's just uh, stick with uh, changing the gradient map for the sake of this uh, for the like the sake of this photo anyway um, you can now alright that's the wrong gradient map alright that's a good one so that's pretty much it you could change it to any gradient map you want I'll change the color and make it look clean so yeah guys that's pretty much it hope you guys learned something from us yeah bye